without further ado, I will uh, introduce Sean Purcell and Elena Kors from Tipping Point Media. Welcome, thank you for joining us. And I will hand things over, Sean. All right, thank you, Christine. So we're really excited to be here today and share some of the latest innovations that are, that's coming from Tipping Point. So we're gonna start today's session off with a quick round of introductions. My name is Sean Purcell. I'm Director of Business Development here at Tipping Point. I've been with the company about seven years now and I work with our clients on their strategic development. I'm also joined today, as Christine mentioned, uh, with my colleague, Elena. Elena, do you wanna do a quick intro? Yep, hi uh, everyone. I'm Elena Course. I've been working with Tipping Point for nearly five years. I have over 20 uh, years of experience in the pharma and medical device industry, and I really enjoy working with our clients to help them find solutions to some of the challenges that they're facing. Awesome, thank you, Elena. Okay, so today we're gonna provide a little bit of background information on Tipping Point, and then we're gonna discuss some of Tipping Point solution that you may not all be aware of. Uh, these solutions, we're going to do a, a breakdown into them and we're gonna see demo overviews. And then we're gonna wrap up with some Q&A. So let's get started with a little bit of background information on Tipping Point. So we have been in business now for over 18 years. We are known in the industry for being that you know, highly innovative, uh, cutting edge company that's utilizing the latest technologies for delivering our client solutions. Uh, we've been developing augmented reality and virtual reality solutions for about 10 years now. Uh, we are located just outside of Philadelphia, Malvern, PA. We've got about a 40 person in-house team. Uh, and some of the things that make us unique is that team makeup. Um, one of the team members that I really want to call out is our you know, 3D so medically much. certified animators. It allows us to keep everything very highly medically accurate. Thank with you so much. Like You're hungry? <laughs> Sean's been muted. Sean, can you unmute yourself? Sure. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right back over. And, um, at what point did we? I think okay. So let me just start back over with uh, the background information on tipping point. So uh, we have been in business now for over 18 years. We are focused in on training and marketing in the life sciences. Um, you know, we're really known for being that highly innovative company uh, that's utilizing some of the latest, greatest technologies that's available to deliver our client solutions. Um, you know, we've been developing uh, such solutions as augmented reality and virtual reality for over 10 years now. We are located right outside of Philadelphia, Malvern, PA. We've got about a 40 person in-house team. And the makeup of the team is also unique as we do have 3D medically certified animators on staff. It allows us to move through things like mid-legal easier while keeping everything very highly medically accurate. Uh, and the really key team member that we really like to call out and we really put a strong emphasis on is our instructional designers. To the point of which we hire PhD level and master level instructional designers. And we do that for one simple reason, that's retention. Doesn't matter if we're creating an interactive PDF or a you know, immersive virtual reality solution. You know, we're never going to rely on that technology alone to get our desired outcome. There's always going to be a very sound strategic approach to everything that we're doing. And it's that formula of you know, being dedicated to the sciences and to that sound strategic approach that's really allowed us to be successful over the years, winning over 40 awards just in the last couple of years uh, for design, education, uh, and innovation. So as you heard me mention, you know, Tipping Point is really well known for our, our cutting edge solutions, such as already learning augmented reality and virtual reality capabilities. But what a lot of the industry doesn't know is what, what are Tipping Point's off the shelf capabilities? You know, we oftentimes are getting asked, you know, we have a launch or a lot of new hires coming in. You know, how can we deliver our content in a quick, efficient manner that uh, is, you know, has a lower investment to it, but still has that high impactful value to it? And for the last several years, you know, Tipping Point's really been listening to our clients and developing a number of these different types of solutions. And we're really happy to announce that you know, we do have those award-winning types of solutions that we're known for now being developed in off-the-shelf solutions. So today we're going to be discussing our virtual brand experience, 
uh, application. We're going to be talking about our augmented reality sales simulator. We're going to be discussing our virtual reality escape room. Uh, and really an industry game changer, our virtual and augmented reality gamification suite. Um, this is really going to take your next level uh, type of gamification to a, a higher level with, you know, complete immersive types of, uh, you know, gamification that, you know, are going to be able to compete now from a pricing and delivery standpoint with those traditional, let's say, Jeopardy style games or those, uh, uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune type of games. We're also going to talk about our strategic account uh, planner tool. And we're going to wrap it all together with our campus solution that we use to track and measure all these different solutions that we're recreating. So the first off, uh, off the shelf solution we're going to discuss is our virtual brand experience application. And the need for this really came about due to clients requesting a one application that can be utilized for things like virtual launches, remote training sessions, or let's say new hire onboarding. So what we did is we worked with our clients to create that one stop shop all-in-one solution that delivers, you know, both from a content and all activity standpoint, all from one application. It requires no special hardware. It's quick to deploy. It's extremely easy to update. And it's still going to provide your learners this highly engaging, highly interactive application that's being delivered in that 360 degree type of format. The great part about it is, too, it's not just a single player experience. You could have, you know, a learner on the West Coast, learner on the East Coast, all coming together inside this one application and collaborating and learning all together. And this is something that we're really thrilled to roll out. So let's take a moment to... Welcome to Tipping Point Media's Virtual Brand, brand Experience. experience. Here, you can create a virtual space designed to showcase your company's products and services in a 360-degree marketing or training experience. We create life-size environments that give users the sensation of traveling to new, sometimes impossible locations. A brand experience can become any space you imagine. Use it for virtual product launches, high-tech innovation centers, trade show booths, hospital and OR simulations, and one-on-one -on -one doctor detailing. Use your brand experience to showcase products, devices, and surgical procedures all in immersive 3D with interactive elements. For example, Tipping Point Media can build custom simulations that allow the user to learn by doing in a virtual environment. We can also create interactive journeys that live within your brand experience. Take your users down to the cellular level to see your product's mechanism of action. A brand experience can also house any number of materials including PDFs, videos, and data from studies and clinical trials. TPM's virtual brand experience is accessible from an iPhone, iPad, Android device, desktop browser, or Oculus Quest. A fully customized brand experience is literally at your fingertips. If you're interested in seeing the TPM virtual brand experience for yourself, here's how. From your iPhone or iPad, Search for Virtual Brand Experience in the App Store. If you're on your computer, visit www.tipmedia.com forward slash virtual brand experience. Take a look around. We know you'll love what you see. Okay. So our next off-the-shelf solution we're going to discuss is our sales simulator. So we've had a lot of clients, especially over the last couple of years, you know, requesting for us to create a real world role playing type of application that can be utilized from any location. And the tool that we created does just that. It now allows your rep the ability to turn their home office into a virtual doctor's office, a pharmacy or hospital, and really go through those real world role play exercises as if they're there in real time in the real world. And the beauty behind this is, is all you need to do is supply tipping point with your content. We already have the doctor's offices, the hospitals, the pharmacies, the AI behind the algorithms already all created. So it's really quick to deploy. It's really quick to update. It requires no special hardware and it comes with a low investment and it's simple to maintain. It really provides also great tracking and measurement throughout its life cycle. And we've been really excited for this, uh, for this solution to be rolled out. We rolled it out last year to a number of our, our different clients, and the feedback that they have been giving us has been absolutely excellent. They absolutely love the solution. Um, and the beauty behind it also is that we can continue to keep the content fresh 
for a relatively low investment. So these are solutions that aren't going to be utilized for a one-off type of situation or even one year. We're going to see these living on with inside our clients uh, for, for quite some time. So now let's take a quick moment to view our sales simulator demo. Hello, everyone. Review. Today, we're going to walk you through Tipping Point Media's new augmented reality sales simulator application. All you need to get started is to take out your phone and open the application. The app uses your phone's built-in camera. This isn't like traditional AR apps that require a target image. Instead, our AR sales simulator scans your environment. When it finds a valid area, a door to our virtual world appears. Once you lock in its location, the door swings open, revealing a doctor's office. Now here's the cool part. You can literally step inside this virtual office. You can look around and interact with the doctor and the patient, just like if you were in a real office. It's just like virtual reality, minus the headset. You can have conversations with the doctor and you can meet their patients. Watch as we use voice commands, not button presses, to learn more about Helen. Hey Helen, tell us about yourself. I'm 68 years old and recently retired from teaching. Now I spend more time with my two grandchildren. And when were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed six months ago. Helen and her doctor have lots of details about her lifestyle and diagnosis that you can learn about. Using voice controls engage the learners and help them practice their verbalizations, which raises retention rates. We can recreate whatever simulation you need, like patient journeys, role-playing exercises, and sales calls, which take place in our augmented reality virtual offices. You can set this up in your office, living room, bedroom, or basement wherever you have the floor space to set up a door to your virtual experience. The best part is that everything you're seeing is already built. It's all off the shelf assets that you can have customized quick. We have an entire hospital filled with different kinds of doctors, patients, and scenarios, all of which can be interacted with. All we need is your pre-approved content for whatever tool you want, whether it be talking to a patient, a doctor, or simulating a sales call. Then we integrate it into our virtual worlds. Want to get your own AR training solution? Step inside our virtual office and let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to turn the presentation over to Elena for more great off the shelf solutions from Tipping Point. Thank you, Sean. So the virtual reality escape room has um, been something that we have um, developed with a specific client several years ago. And with many of the products that we're showing you today, they were actually developed for a very custom reason. Um, however, there was we always found that there was elements that could apply to a lot of different um, business cases. So um, looking at that, we took some of these products, which we have already shown you, and we're going to show you a few more, and made them something that kind of create a shell. And that shell is something that with maybe the insert of your, your question banks or some other information, um, we can customize it for your team very easily. So that's how it becomes an off-the-shelf solution. And the escape room is no different. So the escape room is a series of um, rooms which you get to uh, partake in challenges with your coworkers. What's really cool about it is um, in the era of COVID, and it's funny that we developed this before COVID, in the era of COVID, this was something that was really um, a lot of fun and very engaging for several of our clients to implement uh, for some of the launches that they were, um, they were working through during that time. Uh, it gives you the ability to work as a team. You can have up to four people in it at a time. You can also do it solo, and we've seen that. And I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. But uh, allow some camaraderie and competition. You have avatars that you create of yourself. Um, you're able to interact um, in a virtual reality headset with up to um, three other of your coworkers. There's also some metrics and reporting behind it. Um, I'm actually going to show you that a little bit later as well. So if we move into the next slide, we can explain the experience a little bit more, and then we're going to show you a little video about it. Um, but the basic premise of it is a quizzing tool, so it's for retention um, and reinforcement of content and, and that teamwork and camaraderie. And you work through these levels where you're, you crash and then you start, um, you're trying to react 
activate um, the code. So you're working through uh, a puzzle to do that. And then you move into this Simon Says where you're trying to replicate something as a team, just building some teamwork and having a little bit of fun. Um, and then you move into a fill in the blank where you're trying to override the code so then you can escape and then fight the enemy and have a little fun shooting out the enemy. So as, as you move through the experience and we will launch the video, you'll see a lot of these elements and I'll call them out to you as we go through. And we've seen this been successful for a variety of launches. We've seen it used with medical science liaisons, it with sales reps. You get to have a little chat with everyone and kind of be given your mission, which is what you see here. A lot of these videos you have to recognize we have to scrub them because they're made specifically for clients. Um, but this is that laser puzzle where you're trying to um, activate your power. So you work together to do that um, with a series of lasers and you answer questions um, and you're given an opportunity to um, answer them all correctly as a team. And in the end, you get to escape together and have a little shootout of the enemy. So you're kind of acting as that um, MOA yourself um, in being able to combat it. So it's a lot of fun. It's visually absolutely stunning inside the headset. So um, it really provides a very rich and um, meaningful experience that really, you know, the, you always have to make a business case for why we're doing these kinds of things. And the retention is really strong. Um, so as we knew, move to the next slide, we'll talk about another tool. So as people started going back to um, in-office visits, um, preparing reps for those calls was really important. And this tool was developed as that pre pre-planning tool. Uh, it's something that you could access um, on a, an iPad or a desktop computer, maybe in the car while you're getting ready to go into that office, um, thinking about the various people that you might meet. You might meet a nurse, you might meet an office manager, you might meet a, the healthcare provider, um, you might meet a, a, someone else who is part of the strategic, like financial um, part of the puzzle um, for working with this particular practice. So um, this experience, again, is based on our clients providing a bank of questions that some of these providers um, and personnel might ask a rep and being able to plan how they would respond to that. Um, this is something that you can um, be housed and tracked through an LMS system if you want to, or it can simply be something that they use in the car. It also can be used as part of a live workshop um, where you're doing some coaching and interacting. So I will let the video um, show you a little bit. You already bit. know that account planning is critical to reaching your sales goals, but just having an account plan isn't enough. You need a great plan. One that helps you build strong, value-driven customer relationships. The Strategic Account Planning Interactive Workshop will take your account planning to new levels. In this team-based e-learning experience, you'll spin the randomizer to be assigned a healthcare professional to call on. Then, you'll participate in an interactive role play based on a real-world scenario. Working virtually with a partner, you'll plan and verbalize your approach to an account, and your teammate will give you targeted feedback on your presentation using the Strategic Account Planning Checklist. Then you'll switch roles. The result, a deeper understanding of how to discover what's important to your customers. Great. So the next um, piece is something that we're really excited about. This is something that has come about as a collection of things that we have, have built in the past for clients. Uh, we're pulling it together. We're going to launch it very soon. And it's gonna be that gaming suite. So it's a quizzing tool. Um, to build, again, retention on content that they were learning, um, again, with customizable content. So again, we're relying on a client to provide or we can build a test question bank. And we are looking at this experience to be team-oriented, um, also for individual play. But the premise of it is you answer a certain number of questions correctly and you get 
a basketball to shoot or a kayak to paddle or a golf game or an archery bow and arrow. And when you're given those items, you're given the opportunity to answer questions. And the more you get right, the more shots you get. So that obviously runs your score up. Uh, so you can compete as a team. There's going to be leaderboards, um, both personal and team oriented leaderboards um, that will just provide kind of a fun gaming suite for people to enter. Um, one thing that I've seen with, with my clients with any of these things that are gamified with leaderboards or not is the we've seen that ability for self play for someone to sing, to go in singularly um, as a real value because they like it and they go back in and quiz themselves and have a little bit of fun and we have a tracking tool because some of our clients have come to us and said oh my gosh we've been looking at the dashboards and we're seeing that people are playing it by themselves that's great so to us that's the retention that you're looking to drive and that that excitement towards these tools and and, and the driving the the value to the business so um we'll show you a little bit more about the, some of these experiences that we've built um, this is in particular the kayaking one. Very realistic. I can tell you I'm a kayaker. And uh, one of the things that I thought was really important is that you could hear the water splash. So um, that is a part of the experience. To, um, basketball is also a really um, very fun and not as hard as it looks experience um, to shoot the basketball. We also have the ability for you to pick up a, a bow and arrow and shoot it um, and hit some of these targets. And it's really interesting, like on video, it, it it's it's really it looks really good, but in in virtual reality, it looks incredibly amazing, um, especially this this mini golf, um, this mini golf piece. Um, our animators and illustrators are painstakingly uh, perfectionistic about the overall appearance of how our things come about. And kind of to wrap all of this up is the campus, and we use this as um, kind of that those dashboards, that central reporting space. Um, so anything that we develop, we have the opportunity to attach this campus to it. Whether you need it as an LMS to house and um, manage your content, or you are just looking to track the usage of the AR and the VR, because there's, there's not a lot of solutions out there that track A and B, AR and VR right now. Um, and that's where we've really learned a lot about our, our user population in VR in particular, um, where a client is pulling up a dashboard, the managers are looking who's completed things, who's been doing things, what are the leaderboards looking like? And they see, oh, Tim was in it for an hour the other day, the, the escape room all by himself. Wow, he must have been you know, really engaged in, 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 in working on his content knowledge. Um, that's something that, that clients really like to see and that they have found to be a really good value to their business. So this tool, um, as we show here, some of the dashboards and on the next page, how we kind of manage the content um, are available um, as kind of interchangeable pieces. So you could have the LMS part where you're, you're housing it and managing it, or you can simply have the tracking with the dashboards and leaderboards and things like that. Um, all very flexible, all very customizable within an off-shelf solution. So all of our off-the-shelf solutions have kind of the base model, and then they have the ability to be built upon with customizations. Um, if there's things like the backgrounds that you want to customize, of course, all of them would include um, a customization of the questions and the quizzing and those kinds of things. But um, there's other pieces and parts that can also um, be uh, included. So that's really a presentation of our off the shelf customizable solutions. Thank you for that comment, Richard. Thanks. That was okay, great. thank you, Elena. So I, and I know that we covered a lot in, in a very short period of time. Each one of these solutions are probably hour long conversations unto themselves. Um, but we're gonna open it up the, this part of the presentation to questions. We'd love to answer any questions that you may have. And if you have your questions, you could input them into the chat feature there. So one of the questions that we frequently get, is, oh, that's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> How long does it take to develop a program? So um, the beauty of these off the shelf solutions is that 
a lot of the programming is already done. Um, so um, typically um, something like a VR from scratch, completely customized, that is six to eight months, it can take a while. Um, you're looking at half or even less. Um, first, many of these solutions you could do probably in a month. Um, so uh, that, you know, because they're already pretty much done, that's it. The only variable is really um, the amount of customization that is warranted and approval <laughs> process that you might have internally. Yeah, that's a really good point, Elena. I mean, that's really what we are also going for is this type of training in, in weeks, not necessarily, you know, the, mm -hmm. the six month type of turnaround. Yeah. So um, Kathleen has a question about the impact on learning goals and how does um, it produce better outcome than classroom learning. And it, the, well, the thing about this is um, we're, we're not looking for it, this in particular, especially the gamification to replace cat classroom learning or things like that. It's, they're really reinforcement tools for the most part. Um, I think that um, the best approach that you know we've seen is really a very blended approach um, where you are getting the classroom learning and there is e-learning available and there are gamification pieces that reinforce it and coaching that reinforces it. So we see use as um, a tactic and an overall strategy um, that really helps to impact the learning goals. And a lot of the companies that we work with recognize that um, the learning goals that they're looking to accomplish are really that confidence. Um, and that's one of those things that's really, really hard to, me to, to, to measure. Um, you want those reps in front of a, a healthcare provider being able to confidently speak their message, um, being able to ask the right questions at the right time, um, watching body language. Um, in, in particular, that AR sales simulator um, has a, a meter on it uh, where uh, depending on how the rep answers a question in front of a physician, it actually gives a frustration meter. Um, so let's say that the, the answer that is selected, and we do this through a branching logic um, pattern, is not the optimal answer. It's a good answer, but it's not optimal. Well, that answer might actually frustrate the healthcare provider. So that helps the, represent, the rep um, recognize that. So the overall answer to the question is, how does it impact learning goals? It's variable based on what those goals are, if it's retention, if it's confidence. These are all things that build to that greater goal, but a blended approach is probably still always going to be um, the most impactful. Yeah, to, to add on, Elena, to what you were saying, you know, specifically in regards to retention, things like augmented reality and virtual reality tools really shine versus your traditional methods. You know, we're seeing, and I can share these studies with anybody that, that's interested, depending on the study that you're looking at, somewhere between a 50 to 60% better retention rate with augmented reality. Uh, mm -hmm. That's even higher with virtual reality because of that immersive aspect that, that is associated mm -hmm. with it, right? You're hitting on sight, sound, touch, and we're really helping create that memory that gives you that long lasting retention that you know, everyone's really looking forward uh, to garnering. Okay, so I know we do have a hard stop at 1230, you know, as I mentioned, uh, you know, all of these solutions are really hour long type conversations, we would love to engage with you, you know, after this session, if you have any questions that have come up, you know, feel free to reach out to Elena or I, we'd be happy to answer your questions, you know, these are things that we're really passionate about, and we would love to share that passion with you. Wonderful. Well, thank you both, Sean, Elena. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to Sean and Elena directly. If you would like help getting in touch with them, uh, you can reach out to Greg or myself. We're, we're happy to, to put you in touch. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. Have a great, great afternoon. Time. Thanks. Great, guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one.